Welcome to Ixia product demonstration. We are going to demonstrate how to validate DUT segment routing capability using Ixia ISIS segment routing emulation. In this demo, we use two Ixia ports connected back to back. Each port emulates an ISIS router with segment routing capability. For realistic testing, one of the ports emulate an ISIS topology. Note, prefix and adjacency SID are advertised and traffic is generated with proper MPLS labels. ISIS SR is used to distribute link state information along with MPLS segment identifiers. To start with, there is one ISIS router configured on each port. Behind ISIS router 2, a simulated topology is configured with five nodes connected in a linear topology. Behind router 2, there are two route ranges configured, one for IPv4 and another for IPv6. We shall use these ranges to send and receive traffic. Also, from ISIS router 1, we shall configure an SR tunnel that can be used to carry traffic to a destination behind the simulated topology advertised from router 2. Let us first look at the ISIS router configurations in the emulated ISIS SR router 2. The system ID for the router is available when the device group is selected and it can be modified from here. Next, move to the ISIS protocol node. Segment routing related parameters are grouped under segment routing subtab. First, enable segment routing. Then, configure the node prefix and SID. The flags are open to the user to provide flexibility for negative testing. Both IPv4 and IPv6 node prefixes are supported. Move to the right side in the same segment routing tab. We can configure sRGB with start SID and count. This is used for peer to calculate the label used to reach the prefixes advertised by this emulated ISIS SR router. Up to 5 SRGB are supported. Next, let us move to the simulated topology. If the simulated topology is selected, the system ID configuration is exposed from the simulated router or bridge tab as shown in the picture. Now, let us move to the segment routing tab in the simulated bridge configuration. Same options are available for simulated router advertising node prefix or SID as well as sRGB. Now, move to ISIS simulated router IPv4 node routes tab. User can configure routes to be advertised behind each simulated router. The routes will get advertised from corresponding nodes in the simulated topology. User can also configure SIDs associated with the prefixes. In this configuration, we are advertising few route addresses for 20 networks from here. Similar configuration can be done for IPv6 prefixes. Next, moving to IPv4 route range configuration. User can configure the prefixes, segment identifiers, algorithm and flags from this tab. These routes will get advertised by the emulated router. The number of route ranges can be easily scaled by changing the multiplier attached to the network range. User can further configure how many routes can be advertised per route range by configuring the address count field. Now moving to the IPv6 route range configuration. The settings are similar to IPv4 route ranges. User can configure IPv6 address prefixes, MPLS segment identifier or IPv6 segment identifier for these prefixes can be configured from this tab. Optionally, you can configure static SRT tunnel with multiple segments when Ixia emulates ingress node. At ISIS SR tunnel tab, basic configuration subtab, user can name the tunnel and provide a source IP address for the packets originating from this tunnel. If the head end node prefix checkbox is used, then the tunnel IP address is automatically picked up from the node prefix that the user has configured 
for this ISIS router. Moving to the Tunnel Segments sub-tab, user can configure each segment for the tunnel. In this tunnel, we have configured five segments. User can configure either node segment with the node's system ID or link segment with local node and its neighbor node system IDs. Once protocol is running, Ixia will learn segment identifiers for nodes and adjacencies for all systems using ISIS IGP. Then it will use these segment identifiers to automatically populate MPLS label values for data traffic using this tunnel. In the configuration here, we have created a path with node segments corresponding to the linear topology advertised from the other port. The first segment here is the system ID of the emulated router in port 2, whereas the last segment corresponds to the fifth simulated router in the linear topology. Now we have started the protocols. Once protocol is running, we can refer to the statistics view to see the counters for ISIS protocol messages. User can see the learned information in ISIS SR Router 1 by doing a right click on the ISIS L3 IF tab. In the learned info, it provides detailed information on the different types of SIDs learned from peer ISIS router. Let us look at the learned IPv4 prefixes tab. As shown, the prefix segment identifier information for the advertised IPv4 nodes and routes have been learned. Moving to the IPv6 prefixes learned info. It shows the three IPv6 prefixes along with their advertised segment identifiers. The other two tabs are for IPv6 segment learned info when IPv6 data plane is used. The IPv6 segment identifiers for nodes, adjacencies and advertised routes learned from the peer will be displayed. Now, let us move to the traffic configurations. User can add a new traffic item using the Add L2 L3 traffic button on the ribbon. This will open the advanced traffic wizard. To add traffic for the IPv4 endpoints, select the type of traffic as IPv4. The available IPv4 endpoints are shown on the endpoint selection window. Let us select the source and destination endpoints from the route ranges. User can refine the source and destination endpoint selection by clicking on the links beside the endpoints, as shown in the screenshot. By default, the SPF path is used and there will be one segment for the SR path. To send SR traffic for TE tunnel with multiple segments, select the SR TE tunnel as the source endpoint. Let us move to the next page for packet a QoS. We can see the encapsulations added for these traffic endpoints. Here, an MPLS encapsulation has been added. The MPLS label will be populated with the learned MPLS SID value of the destination IPv4 prefix range when traffic is generated. Moving to the tracking page, user can add tracking for different fields including MPLS label value. To enable tracking for a field, the checkbox corresponding to it is enabled. Moving to the preview page, user can see the flows being generated. The IMPLS segment label to reach the destination prefixes gets displayed here. To create the traffic configuration and exit the wizard, click on the finish button. As shown here, user can apply or start traffic from the ribbon items. If user makes a change in the tunnel configuration, then the user can regenerate the traffic item or create a new traffic item. User can capture the data packets on receive port to check the segment encapsulation. As seen, the data traffic is encoded with MPLS labels for destination prefixes. Moving on to the traffic statistics, user can right click on the traffic item and see the advanced drill down options available. As seen, the drill down by MPLS label value option is available here. The drill down options correspond to the setting for flow tracking we enabled in the advanced traffic wizard. Let us now move to the drill down statistics view. 
when user selects the drill down by NPLS label value, traffic statistics is tracked based on the label value of the data packet. The NPLS label value is displayed on the first column of the statistics view. This demo demonstrated how to test iSize segment routing using Ixia. User can easily scale up the test by emulating more iSize SR routes with large number of segment IDs. Ixia offers a similar capability for OSPF segment routing test too. User can also combine it with other technologies such as PGPLS and PSEP for end-to-end -end segment routing testing. Thank you for your time. Please watch our other product videos for more information.